Good afternoon and welcome to number 37 Park Road West, situated within the lovely suburb of Curson Park. Tree-lined area, one of Chester's most popular locations. I can see why. It's a short walk into the city centre along these great tree-lined roads. Straight from here you get into Curzon Park South and you can cross over onto the Grosvenor Bridge via Dingle Bank or via Chester Golf Club which is, itself is a great walk into the city. So what we're looking at at the moment is pro probably the only new build for sale in Curzon Park. So just been constructed by an individual builder on site every day so there's a great deal of attention to detail. It's not a mass produced rushed new build. He's been here every single day, painstakingly making sure everything is perfect. So as we look at the driveway, we've got this lovely golden Cots Cotswold gravel driveway offering parking for, I would say, at least four vehicles. And then we look at the K-rendered house with the contemporary dark windows, really contemporary, but also fits in with its surroundings. There's access to both sides via this lovely paved pathway, which continues to the patio. Double glazed composite door takes us on to the entrance hall with wood engineered design of flooring, which continues to the majority of the ground floor. And then we come in, we've got these oak effect internal doors, and then we've got a study at the front of the property. Could be a playroom, but I think it's a good size study looking at the front of the house. And then we have double glazed and oak doors, which take us through to our principal living room, which again, well carpeted, nice sized room with two radiators either side of the room. All the TV points have been nicely built in, so everything is ready to go. Everything is whitewashed, so completely neutral. The house, though, has been designed with it being new build to be very, very economical to run. So the insulation levels, um, the boiler, we've got a solar panel here as well. The property could not really be any more economic. And then we've got a utility room just off the hallway, so you've got your controls for your solar panels. So again, on a nice sunny day like today, you get an awful lot of electricity fed back into the house for free. The kitchen units are the same as the utility units, which is a nice piece of consistency. We've got this nice dark grey hand-painted units with a sink and drainer here, plumbing for both washing machine and dishwasher, with a A-rated ideal combination boiler just here, with double glazed door to the side of the property for getting your bins out. And then, again, with it being new build, everything has been designed to suit a disabled person. So you've got nice wide doors. The downstairs loo is an, obviously an excellent size. So if anybody did have disability issues, then you've got more than enough room. The, the continued timber flooring comes on and then we're attractively half tiled. And I love this nice solid oak display counter with the under storage and the oval ceramic sink. So again, lots of quality features, lots to love. And then we come across the back of the property. Probably one of the key rooms in the house because it's southerly facing, so we're flooded with natural light. It is a really good sized room. We've got the solid oak butcher's block work surface here with the breakfast bar. So you can imagine breakfast bar here. You've got TV points on the wall here. So again, I could just imagine like a nice L-shaped couch with a bit of dining space in the corner. Or you could just leave it to the breakfast bar if you've got the young kids. The French doors take you straight onto the subly facing patio. And then we've got these LED spotlights, which are all the way through. And then we go onto the kitchen. As explained earlier, um, the kitchen units have been hand painted. So real high end quality with the Bosch double electric ovens there. And then we've got a Bosch five ring gas hob with a Neff extracted over with a stainless steel splash back. Again, little features. You've got the built in trays. Again, built-in spice drawer, there's a wine rack around the corner. There's also a Bosch dishwasher here and your glass-fronted, well-lit display units. And then your ideal central heating boiler has one of these halo systems, which you can obviously carry around with you to control the temperature of the house. Again, I love this display helmet with the built-in spotlights. It's just another piece of additional quality and eye-catching attention to detail. Attractive tiling comes off of the oak butcher's box work surfaces. And then obviously we've got this large dining space and I'll take you into the garden. It's a beautifully sunny day. So we are just coming up to one o'clock and the sun is directly behind us. So really good southerly facing plot, well turfed, but with these nice mature attractive borders with a large summer house tucked away in the corner. So really sunny yet private property and you're backing on to large properties on Glanabba Park behind. So they've got good sized gardens separating the two properties quite nicely. 
You've got the outside tap, really discreet downlight as well. So I can imagine this being a really nice house of an early evening. So that's the ground floor accommodation. Back into the entrance hall. Obviously, spotlights above, well carpeted, really, really deep under stair storage cupboard in there. And then you've got this large UPVC double glazed window, which provides lots of natural light onto this excellent size landing. The landing has been designed to give a feeling of space, so it's not tight with lots of doorways everywhere. Now, what we've got with this property really would suit a family. We've got four double bedrooms. There's not a small one. They're all quite equal. Um, the two rear-facing ones, which are really sunny and bright, have both got their high-quality ensuite shower rooms as well. So I'll take you to the two bigger of the bedrooms. Now, again, very, very similar size. We'll call this bedroom one, but just for argument's sake, either could be bedroom one. Good size double room. You've got your built-in TV point just up here. And then a really high quality ensuite shower room in here with porcelain tiling. There's a chrome, large heated ladder towel rail behind the door. Um, we've got the Myra chrome effect shower unit in here, again with the porcelain tiling and the solid oak display counter with the gray high gloss under storage. So again, really high quality stuff. And then we've got a very similar affair next door, which is bedroom two. Similar double sized room. All qualities overlooking the sunny rear garden, so really nice green outlook. And again, an ensuite again, slightly different tiling. I actually love this tiling, it's porcelain tiling, but I love the effect. Um, goes off really nice with the white suite, again with the oak counter and under storage. But one of my personal faves in this house is the tiling to the ensuite, I just think it's really, really nice. So that's two of your double bedrooms. As we go back into the entrance hallway, landing even, I'm very impressed by rooms like this. It's a good size, purpose-built airing cupboard with a radiator and built-in linen, linen shelving. That is something which is just useful and functional. Loft access above and told by the owner the house is insulated to high heaven. Both the ceiling, the walls, he could not have got it any more insulated. And then we've got two good sized double bedrooms to the front. This being bedroom three, as you can see here where the plugs have been pointing out for a double bed, built in TV point just here. And we've got a different vista because we're looking onto Park Road West, which is a okay, lovely tree lined road. Now finishing off the bedrooms, and like I say, it feels wrong to describe this as bedroom four because it's such a good size. Again, another really, really comfortable double bedroom Really good size. If you've got three kids, then no one is going to have to struggle with a single bedroom. So four fantastic bedrooms, two with en suites. And then we've got the family bathroom just through here. And as you can imagine, the style and standard just goes through what we've seen in the rest of the house. Behind the door here, we've got a large double walk-in shower cubicle. We've got the bath. I quite like the mix of tap in these funky taps. And then you've got the oak display counter with under storage again, and the large chrome heated towel rail. Attractive tiling finishes off the finish to the bathroom with ceramic tile flooring on the floor. So everything has been really well thought out. It's not been a quick development. The owner really has took a lot of feedback from people as to how to build the perfect family home. So I hope you agree with me that 37 Park Road, Road West is doing a pretty good job being a perfect new build home in Curzon Park. I can say it's unique because there's nothing quite like it at the moment. If you'd like to book a viewing, it's 01244 313 900 and I've great pleasure taking you around this perfect home. Thanks for watching.